Oh, this is gonna be nice. That just looks insane to me. I don't know what y'all think. This is yours. Hi, right, what's up? Yeah, I think I'm a candle pole. Hi, Sandemi. Okay, bedroll. One. That's right, after about a 30 minute walk, we made it to our next hotel, Conrad. Um, supposed to be a nicer hotel. I was between this one, and there's one that's not in Makati, it's in Pasai, I think. It's supposed to be really nice. I decided to do this, because well, that's the beach right there, and this is so close to everything I need to go to. So tonight, I'll be going to the Spiral Buffet, Actually, if you saw the video before, you saw me shopping for it. I'm not second shopping, but this is where we're gonna stay. It's like interconnected with like a huge mall. We're down here by SM Mall, which that may be, no, that's a university. This, this is such a cool area. There's so much stuff down here that I don't know like what it is or anything. I'm actually early for check-in. I'm hoping since I booked this through like American Express, they use my credit card to let me check in early. But uh, I think this is it right here. It kind of looks like a cruise ship, but it kind of looks like. It says the entrance is this way, so I think we're good. Oh, this way. Cute little dog there that would probably attack me if I had something illegal. All right, yeah, here's the check-in. Let's see if we can check in early. Hello. How are you checking? Yeah. Third floor. Oh, third floor. Yes. I need to throw my bag through here. Hi, Good afternoon. How are you? Everything here? And we are through. Got some art here. Oh, nice looking art. That was the most like awkward check-in bag I've ever had because this got caught and I couldn't get it off. Is this going up? That's no, going down. Not me. That is me, but not our not our elevator. Let's show the art again. What do y'all see? Oh, this view is insane. Hello. Checking in. Right here, in first, okay. Thank you. I hope it's there. Yes sir, I'm just but I only printed um, this uh, Earlier, so it might your me might, might not be on it, but it's it's there. Okay, sure don't make me worried. <laughs> it's okay. I promise I'm supposed to be here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lindsay, the trainee said you got to check this out at sunset. Can't do that tonight because we're going to be at Spiral Buffet, but we'll do it one night. Is that it? I got a little like amusement park right here. Anyways, we got the card key. Look at all the beautiful design to the room. Also shout out to Hannah from Bicol. She told me to go eat Bicol Express when I get out there, which I definitely will. She said, you go. Oh man, I should have listened more. She said there's like an art gallery. Uh, I think it's back up in here. I just want to look at the paintings real quick. Cause that's the elevator over there, I do believe. Oh no, see we gotta go China Blue. We're going the right way. So here's like the beginning of a little art gallery here. Art and wine. If I was gonna look at art, I definitely want something to drink. You know, it makes it Makes it better, right? Oh, yeah, beautiful hotel. Now she told me I had C view and with my Amex card, I get a room upgrade, but she said she couldn't give it to me for one reason. I already booked the best room. <laughs> they said I got the best room booked already. I can't upgrade. That's what we looking like. Ooh, we. Uh, fifth floor. Oh man. Sorry, sorry. Oh, how about now, boy? Let's go. That's what we're looking like. We got a little tan bag, a little burnt, didn't I? Should be this way. Oh, here we are, right here. That's quick. Oh, this is gonna be nice. This is the suite right here. So this is the Conrad. Sweet. Take the nasty shoes off. I like the big mirror. Can see kind of how you're looking before we go out and about. Here it is. Oh my gosh. I dig the design, man. This is cool. Oh, 
Oh, I may just choke myself. Kill myself. Probably even get to see. So right as you walk in, you got a nice, nice, like guest little bathroom right here. Beautiful lighting that's like the selfie lighting you want. Be looking good. Be take your pictures for your girl or for your guy, making you go from an eight to a 10. It's what you want. Ain't really got to add the photo with that. That is a Toto and that is wide hide powered sleek, sleek design. But you know what I'm worried about. 4.1, 4.1 out of five. Pretty good, pretty good. It's got a little ridge to it. Some people may like the ridge, catch it a little bit more. I don't know. Not quite all for the ridge. I like the, just a nice soft light coming from everywhere. I'm gonna guess, oh. Look at the, the water in here, too fancy for me. Hope in a box, purified water. I think, I don't know what the hope is. What? I think maybe they donate. 100% of Hope's profits from this drink builds public school classrooms. Then, how do they stay in business? I don't know. Oh, check it out. Espresso machine on point. Should not a. Ooh, and it is stocked. So, with my Amex card, I booked at this hotel during a specific time. I get $100 credit. So if I take from this, it will deduct from the credit. If I call in room service, it deducts from the credit. If I go to a spa, it deducts from the credit. So we're gonna be doing some things. I think we'll get some in-room food service. Dang, that is two times I did that. Anyways, look at this. This is kind of funky, kind of groovy, kind of 70s, but like modern, sleek, kind of bachelor pad-ish. I'm loving this. This is a gorgeous room. I like the neutral colors. Big old bed here. The bedroom looking good. You got a place to sit and read some books. What? This is just your changing room? This is where I should put my bags and everything. This is crazy. This is a bachelor pad. This is a this is a penthouse 101. This be this be making me feel like I'm way more rich than I am. Nice robe. I guess it's actually perfect. So sometimes you get these big old heavy robes, right? And they just like feel like a wool. It's giving you a hug. But this is like cool and sleek. It's a little bit silk-like. Nice sitting space here. Right into the bathroom. This is the master bath. Oh my gosh. Look at that tub. We're getting in that. Wish I had somebody to share this tub with. But, you know, looks like it's just going to be me in here. It's it's okay. I need to share with. It's about one max size anyways. Oh, dang, let me show you what Philippines has done to me. You ready? This is what Philippines has done to me. Right, I bet y'all was a lot. I bet y'all was a lot less before I came here. Oh my gosh, I was like 175 when I came here. I mean, sorry, I was like 75 when I came here. No, dang, that's two kilos up. If I keep that up, I'd be rolling out the Philippines when I leave. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Again, the lighting here is on point. Uh, oh no, it comes from the top right there. I was gonna say, y'all thought the same thing. I was like, oh, it's a little disappointing. But then I saw that, that's where it's at. Ton of stuff right here. I kind of, I don't even be picky. The only picky thing I am is like, I like it when they have more like, smaller, feels more like personalized, like exclusive brands instead of when it's on the wall like that. I feel like I'm at a cheap hotel. Which this is not the case, because there's the throne. We'll be rocking like a, probably about a queen size bed right here. Uh, ooh, look at that, and it's gonna retract, that's a good old pillow. That is comfy. But I think the beauty's gonna be, oh, legs go under. Feel like I actually do a real job here, but we know I don't. Okay, bedroll. One. One max. Probably around a queen size bed then because it's just one max. So, I'm showered up, I'm clean. Check out what they did though. They brought me chocolate. I got chocolate for staying here. Dear Mr. McFarland. This means like aloha, I do believe. Anyway, just kind of like a welcome. They want me to invite me to something which I thought was kind of cool too. Internet here, pretty darn good. So yeah, that'll do it for today. I will, uh, oh, I meant to tell you that the, the towels are scented too. They're very nice, kind of like a 
lemongrass, and, and one important more thing, left and right, ignore the mess for the bath later tonight that I'm going to do, bath salts. <laughs> I just got back from Sparrow Buffet, put this in the video because I thought this was pretty cute. Got my room ready for bed, and I got a stuffed animal. <laughs> Conrad Manila. How cute is that? Pretty cute touch. Okay, so I decided to actually get out of the hotel. Just being in hotels alone too long made me feel kind of depressed and lonely. So getting out. I actually got to meet my employee, Jordy, today. He's Filipino. We're over. I do believe it's like Makati area. There's like a lot of like carnerias over here. You see coffee shops. Uh, pretty nice wide roads, but still kind of feels pretty local through here. Uh, let's go down this back alley. It looks kind of cool uh, Really nice area. I do believe it is Makati, but I'm not 100% sure Anyway, we're going to Sasing's Carinderia, which is probably like one of the most famous Carinderias in all the Philippines I, Maybe not with locals, but definitely with tourists and foreigners like when you think of Carinderia It's one of the first places you think of maybe because I went there first time four years ago no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I mean, Mark Weens has been there. I think a lot of famous YouTubers have been there, but we're just gonna meet there. Didn't really know where to eat, so, cause he lives, Jordy lives kind of outside of Manila, so he didn't really know. I didn't really know. We just decided to meet here, grab a quick lunch. Uh, so you get to meet him, we get to do a little carandaria. May head to a coffee shop later, do some stuff. I don't even know what video this is gonna be a part of. Let's just uh, keep walking and enjoying. Man. Maybe this is like Gerandaria area. There's one here. There's like one over here. There's one over here. There's like, I've passed, there's another one right here. Oh my gosh. This is like, if you ever just want like a nice lunch, this is the place to come. There's like Gerandarias. I, am I saying that right? I'm probably sounding like an idiot because I don't know if it's Gerandaria or Gerandaria. So we'll have to get Jordy's rolling when we see him. And if I'm squinting, it's because it's bright. <laughs> hey. Oh, uh, you know what? We are early. There's another Karen. Look, these are all Karen Darius here, but let's grab a coconut. Hello. Hello. Can uh, I get coconut? One. One. One, one coconut. One. Mutska pokoya. Uh, one, please. Yes. One cold. One. One. One, one cold. Perfect. Cup. Yeah, one cup. Wow, there it is. This is how many pesos? 10? 20. 20, big cup. 20. Okay, perfect. Oh, Salaman. Okay, gotta cool off just a second before we get Jordy. Masarap. Masarap. Mm, he's added sugar to it for sure. That is super sweet. But. The thing about out here is you have like a few trees, you can get some shade. It's a nice spot to be selling. There's a difference in the temperature between here and out there. Super hot out there, not so bad here. And what's funny, I've seen some locals walking around and they're going through and they're like picking a dish from like certain carandarias. So they're going and they're like, I want this from that one. I want this from that one. Kind of interesting to see the locals walk around and pick different things. I'm not even joking. I mean, I could just come here for a month straight and eat in cotton daddy. There's one here, there's one here, there's more down there. I wonder why they're all on the street. I'm kind of curious, like, Manila is such a big city, but this has been the, like, most cotton daddies I've ever seen in an area. This cold drink's nice. Let's get it done, though. Let's get it in. Twenty. Thank you. Thank you. Can I put cup? Right here. Okay. Thanks, boss. Bye bye. Okay. Jordy. Thank you. How are you? <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to finally meet you, yeah. <laughs> Have you eaten here before? No. It's been like, I think it's like one of the most famous for like foreigners. Like foreigner, foreigners always eat it. It's Kerendaria. Oh, yeah. Is it Kerendaria or Kerendaria? Kerendaria. Kerendaria. Okay, now we got the, <laughs> we got the official pronunciation. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Man, nice to finally meet you. Yeah, you too. Okay, you ready? Let's eat it up. We already got a lot of people in here, so. Good in here, get some lunch. Okay, no problem. Oh, you gotta like, watch your head. Oh, busy, busy. Come on in. What do you like to eat? 
Hello. Oh, they just got the... Vegetables. Yeah, they got the vegetables. They just got the prawn one done too, with the coconut. That one's nice. I like that one a lot. You're allergic to seafood? Let's not get that. I don't need you dying. No dying today. So everybody's rolling in. It's about lunchtime. It's during the weekday too. More over there. I'll let you order since you're allergic. See, I told you everybody's been here. Look at this. Well, I guess Korean because it's mukbang. And you got Manila foodie. So many people have been here. Oh, I love this one. This one's masarap for sure. Kumutskapo <laughs> ate. And you got these right here. Almost got like a pork and like a sauce. They got, they're still gonna get dishes going. They'll probably get a few more. They got soup over here. See you later. I think they bring them, but I'll help them. Put some chilies there. Mm. It'll be somewhere to sit back here. Oh, no, there's not. It's over already. So right here, they're growing up the pork belly right here. Hello. Kumutskapo kuya. Oh, grilling the pork and fish. Nice. Mmm, masarap. <laughs> so yeah, this is like their grilling station. Look at the years, the wear on it. Anyway, we gotta find somewhere to sit. I think we're here. We forgot the most important Filipino ingredient. <laughs> the rice. You can't be Filipino if you don't eat your rice. rice. No rice, no life. Ooh, I love this one. I think it's called pakbet. Ah, uh, pakbet? Yes. Or and this is like the grilled uh, pork. Pork adobo. Oh, this is pork adobo. Yes. Oh, their adobo is so, 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 like black almost. <laughs> and this one, this one, one we got. Chili con carne. Yeah, chili con carne. And this is just the skewers. Thank you so much. I think we forgot our rice. Can we get some rice? Perfect. Thank you. I think we just got. Soup of the day. How do you do it? Do you like, do you take this? Do you take your calamansi and put it over or how do you do? No, uh, sometimes you add this. Uh, is that soy sauce? Yeah, soy sauce. Oh, okay. And this is patis. Uh, patis, yeah. The fish sauce. But we usually just add this in our calamansi and chili. Okay, you do that right here. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a dipping sauce for... Uh, that is racist. You got the chili, I didn't get a chili. <laughs> Uh, I got extra calamansi though. You can't take your spoon and break your chili. You ain't been here long enough. Good enough. There we go. Do you like the meat or the fat in the pork? We can share. I'll get this pure meat one. And then you have this piece that has meat and fat. Thank you. you. You're welcome. The pork is falling apart tender, so nice. Such a strong flavored adobo. I mean, you got to. If you're gonna rise to popularity, if you're gonna get people out of their homes and come eat adobo, like if you're trying to make adobo better than somebody's mom or grandma, you gotta make sure it's packed with flavor. So good. And now for the beef. Oh, that sauce is thick with it. Oh. Oh. Almost using like a skirt steak. That beef got a little bit of chew to it, but then that chili. Like a chili powder, smokiness, heat coming through. Woo! Little spicy. <laughs> nice though. Honestly, this is the most brilliant place to set up like a little store like this. Because you get your drinks, you get your cigarettes, and they sell ice cream. I don't know what else you would need after eating a nice Canadaria meal. You know that dish is good when you still remember it like four years later? I still remember eating this like four years ago. Dude, get the soy sauce for the calamansi. I love that one. That's how I would get my vegetables in every day. And we did it. Good. It's just as good as I remember. And everybody's rolling in now. They're taking orders really fast. I want to see if I can find Ate. Ate. Hi, what's up? Yeah, Ate at Makanopo. Hi, Sandalit. Little. 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 I'm learning. This is teacher. Teacher. <laughs> Three thirty. Okay. Can you just give me hundred? You can take four. <laughs> I was gonna tell Koya. Koya, masarap. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh man, you get in there. 
you're gonna be smelling like that pork all smoky when you get out. Okay, onward. We gotta add this part in so people don't think I'm a liar. <laughs> this is yours. Wow. Thank you. You're welcome. Wait, where's your old phone? And we even tested the charger so you have a working charger. Oh my God. Yeah. I thought you're gonna get like iPhone 11. No, nah, 13 Pro. Oh. She sold me up. She's a very, very good salesman. Yeah, it's all you. They can't see my stock. I know, you wore the mask. We gotta do it again. <laughs> Take the mask off. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. Boom, been chilling in the room. Nice hotel, isn't it? Yeah. So we had to come, they have tea time now. So I get access, so I had to come check out tea time. There's nobody here. Oh, they're still setting up, I feel bad. So we're here a little early. But, ooh, look at all the delectable snacks we'll get. Scones, everything. We'll let them go ahead and get set up. Ooh, scones. You know, all types of cookies over here. We'll let them get set up a little bit. We also got, with my card, I get the benefits. This is the tea time. I also get like the cocktail hour. They always have like tea here. They have a coffee machine in here. And I get to take breakfast up here. Probably won't show you the cocktail hour, but you gotta check out the view. Down here's a pool. I'll probably go check that out later. I need to. I need to get a tan. It's almost illegal that I'm still this white and I've spent this long in the Philippines. So we'll get some food, sit out, check it out. I mean, they usually have like signs on here. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I didn't even think of that. That looks like a cruise ship right over here, but I'm ready to try this out. Come in a little cappuccino. Really, I'm more like in the afternoon. I don't really crave real food. I just want sweet. So that's why I got this huge platter for Jordy and I to share. Ooh. Of course, you know me, I had to get the coffee. You've only had coffee like twice in your life. Yeah. That's crazy. I don't know how you're awake right now. I would be asleep if I had no coffee today. Whoa. Oh shoot, I almost forgot to show y'all. I got my cool new Philippines hat on with the jeepney on the front. Appreciate it, man. Jordy got it for me, sweet gift. I think some good lighting, where's the good lighting? There it is, it's like in an art gallery. That's a piece of art right here. I'm about to devour. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh no, it's peppermint. The price is right, right? Free. It's a good price. Yeah. <laughs> Free food. <laughs> okay, pool time. Well, I just look like an idiot. Just ran into the door and it didn't open. Why is it not opening? Am I just weak? I'm just too weak. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Uh, now, nothing much special planned for out here. Gotta be careful of the music, but have some San Miguel since we're sponsored. Mm. And enjoy the view. It's actually, again, I don't know why I'm still this white. I've not been out in the sun enough. Ooh. Sorry. Drank a little too much at the pool. Didn't really feel like going to, um, the happy hour and I kind of feel like being alone tonight so we're gonna do this together I guess not truly alone because you're coming with me dang I think I got burnt already anyways I'm gonna check out the menu I'm gonna get some food okay okay about thousand twelve hundred uh, pesos oh my gosh what is this double lobster burger oh I got some thinking to do Good, how are you? We're good, sir. I'll just set up your table. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. I look for the most expensive thing on the menu. <laughs> you will never regret it, sir. No, man, that's what they said the special was, so yes. I had to get it. This, uh, this is the most expensive one of, of them all. It is, really. <laughs> I was kind of I was just joking. <laughs> oh, wow. The lobster noble burger. That's crazy. The fish and my plain rice, and then your corny beans on the side. Awesome, so. man. Yeah. And also, after this, uh -huh. 10 minutes, I'll the halo deliver halo. the halo. That's right, that's right. I didn't want to melt on me. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, so this is crazy. I never do in-room service, but I was like, I just want to kind of be in the room tonight. So, well, we got the lumpia. We got, oh, we got six of them with some rice as well. And a salad, french fry, sweet chili sauce, ketchup. Look at that burger. Yeah, look at that right there. That's a thing of beauty.
<laughs> I mean, I was gonna go do a burger, but might as well get that right in there. Look at that. Don't even look at me, look at that. So I've had a few drinks, but might as well not stop now because they ain't much better than fried food and a burger and some beer. That just looks insane to me. I don't know what y'all think, but I'm excited to eat this. Get that plastic off here. Nobody want no plastic. The thing I'm excited most about, and it's gonna sound really weird, is the french fries. This could be life changing. A little thick cut in the ketchup. Mmm. That's what I was wanting, Conrad. Thank you so much. Oh. Man, so check this out. Got like a sweet chili sauce here, which I think is for our lumpia. But this is like craziness because we still got farmhouse mayonnaise. We got Dijon mustard, salt pepper, a nice little. They're so attentive here. They're always like, call me if you need anything. Call me if you need anything. Call me if you need anything. I'm like, man, don't let me bother y'all like that. Nobody want that in life. Nobody want to hear me call them all the time. Hmm. I don't know if it's a good thing or a sad thing. First lumpia I've had in the Philippines. <laughs> mm. Filipinos love rice, but I got rice with like the lumpia and the burger. I don't know. Mm. But here, before it gets colder, sesame seeds. Oh, look at that. Un look at that. Listen to this. Oh, that's beautiful. Sesame seed bun. Sensational. Sexual. Um, give me another S word. I don't really know. Oh. I think I can take the things that fall out, like the lobster, this cheese, the meat, or the burger. I'll put it on the rice. This may be, <laughs> this may be best burger in the Philippines. I don't know. Oh, that's pretty good. I don't know if the restaurant wants me to say this or not, but I went to China Blue last night, and it was a lot more expensive than this, but this is better than anything I had at China Blue. Wow. Creamy, cheesy, lobster, and then a nice beef patty in there. It's got a little ketchup on there. I'm a little crazy. Mm. If they say it's a signature, go for it. That's why I, I probably trust people too much, but when you do, it's a beautiful thing. I really loved it with the ketchup. Let's get a little Dijon mustard. I don't know how Dijon mustard. Look at the crab. Can you still see? Oh, hold on. Put that there. Can you see that crab layer in there? That crab with the cheese. That's what I'm talking about. Oh man. The only thing that's gonna make this better is I gotta show you my ketchup trick, right? Black pepper into the ketchup, right? My uncle taught me this. I've been doing this all my life. Then you put the fry in the ketchup and this is where it's at. Ain't nothing better than that. If you ain't putting black pepper in your ketchup, you ain't doing it right. Look at that. But what I think I want to do is I'm going to take all this like, this was crab and cheese. I got crab and cheese. Go ahead and put it in there with the rice. You know, we're going to, we get it with the rice. It's going to be nice. We made two meals out of one and it's a complete meal because we got the rice. Mm. Tastes like lobster mac and cheese. But instead of pasta, we got, we got rice. Yeah, man, it's a big house. Is it? Man, you didn't tell me it was like for four people. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the biggest house I've ever seen. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, dude, that's crazy. That burger's good. Your eyes worth every penny. Yes, sir. The fries where it's at. That is stupid big. That is, oh, what? That's my hand. Look at that. This thing is huge. I was not expecting that. Mmm. Oh, it'll work out. Oh my gosh, that's heavy. Yeah, I use my spoon for my rice. So I think I could use a fork. <laughs> it's kind of funny. All right. Now we can go. So this place, the service is crazy because I was like that annoying, kind of felt like a Karen type employee because like, could you bring the Hello Hello like five, 10 minutes later? Because I didn't want it to melt, right? And they did it for me. I felt terrible for asking, but I just don't like my hello hello to be all melty. Now, when I didn't expect them 
give me enough hello hello for four people. Or oh, is this like evaporated milk? I thought this was gonna be sweetened condensed milk. What all we got here? We got beans, beans, jellies, coconut, lechon. The lechon a little small for me. Lots of ube ice cream. Um, more types of jellies. What is that? That one looks good too. Hello, hello. With the forks on here, got the ice. Get it in all that 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 milk product we put in. I would definitely want some of that ice cream, bean, coconut. This is like the section for me. I don't know where y'all would have gone, but this is everything I want right here, right there. Maybe a little lechon, but that would have been the only thing. Other thing. Oh my head! It's good. The problem is, <laughs> hello, hello tastes the best when you're outside. It's hot. You're sweating and you need to cool off. And I've been in an air conditioned room for the past couple hours, so. Ooh, we. Mm. Wow. You know when this piece is so creamy and so decadent and so heavy and so sugary, it just sticks to the roof of your mouth? That's when you know it's good, and that's what exactly that is. Anyways, I guess what I'm trying to say is if I finish this, please do not check my blood sugar level. Mm. The Hallow Hallow is good. I still think I should have gone for the Filipino mango cheesecake. Mm. And the flan right here. I think I called this lechon earlier. Did I call this lechon? Y'all, I'm drunk. I mean, this thing is a monster. It's literally a monster, but this is all... That's all I need right there. Get that green jelly off of there. That's 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 perfection. Money bite. Okay. Like I'm not gonna bore y'all with me trying to work my way through this. And I'm probably gonna pass out in like five seconds. So I'm gonna finish this. Did a pretty good job. The sweet's gonna be hard to finish, but did a pretty good job. Ate most of what I got. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. Almost eight. Morning. Do you remember? Yes, sir. Oh, you're so good. Why are you all, you're working every morning? Yes, sir. Every morning. You need to take a break. Oh my gosh, you need to take a break. Okay, well, I'll be gone, so I don't care. <laughs> I'll just sit back here in the back. Thank you. Uh, sure, can I get a latte? Thank you so much. Okay, we're back here in my corner seat right here. So, there are two spots to eat breakfast. I think I've already told you. I get up here at the executive lounge. The other one is level three which you can see there's a lot of people here so <laughs> this sounds pretentious but it's very excluded and i like it because it's almost like your own little personal dining experience i think the options are maybe a little bit smaller but i just like there's not a lot of people because i get not claustrophobic but sometimes i just like the peace and quiet Hi. morning how are y'all today good sir how about you good man we got the bacon i like the bacon here okay. oh what's this do you have any like chef uh, special today? Yes, sir. What uh, is it? Uh, egg toast. Okay. And then uh, all the stuff over here. Sweet. All the stuff. Ooh, the fruit looks good. I need some fruit after that burger last night. Oh man, and the sweets. How about uh, you want to try the Filipino uh, type of breakfast? Oh, let me see what you got. We have here the chicken casino and the. Uh, Milkfish, daing. Oh, uh, milkfish. We call it daing. Yeah, yeah, very popular in the Philippines. Oh, I've never had chicken uh, tocino before. Yes, yeah, sir, that's one you should try it. Uh, I've always had the pork, okay. Yeah. Uh, usual is pork, but in here we do with chicken, sir. Oh, okay, cool, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get lots of stuff, this man. This one is perfect with uh, ch uh, chicken tocino, a garlic fried rice, and a sunny side up. Okay, can I do a sunny side up, and I'll, I'll make that. Sounds good. And then I'll make, you're gonna have your breakfast right there? Yeah, I'll be in the corner. Yes, yeah, sir. I'll tell you, everything's in the corner. Yes, sir. Always been over there. Okay, sweet. And they're gonna hook me up. Uh, see, they got the Hungarian sausage, but y'all should have the Longanisa, man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude. It's like one of my favorite breakfasts in the Philippines. It's Longanisa, eggs, and rice. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, a lot of garlic. Man, I can smell it right away. Yeah. Have you been to Pasay Market? Mm, Pasay Market? Yeah. Yes. I love the side market. <laughs> There's a really famous uh, carinderia at the side market. Uh, what, what, do you know the name? Man, <laughs> what was it called? Awesome, man. What was your name? 
My name is Chef John. John. So if you need anything else in the buffet. Man, this is going to be a good start for me. Thanks, brother. <laughs> I'll be back for round two. This looks pretty good for me. I didn't think I was going to eat a lot. <laughs> the breakfast looking bomb this morning. So I'm kind of just a sucker for these little hash browns. <laughs> they like cook them too long and they're almost like a little too greasy. But I love it. And we ain't got no pepper out here. Dang it. It's so good though. What I really enjoy, it's not just John, but everybody's very passionate here. So when you go talk to them, they just like, once you have the best experience and they really care about the food. I mean, he fried up this egg perfectly. Get a little soy sauce in there. Get a little flavor going. I'm gonna put that down because I'm afraid to stain all this, but chicken tocino, look at that runny egg. Oh my gosh. Just get that in there with the rice. Why am I using a fork? I'm looking like a Westerner. So the breakfast been a little bit different every day. I found this one's one of the better ones I've had. They've had like crab omelets. They've had other things. First day I did like toast and eggs. It was very basic with jam, but this one right here, that's where it's at. That garlic rice, it's gorgeous. So flavorful. I got garlic breath already working. Let's try some of the, I think it's like Philippines national fish. The milk fish here. Mm. Those are pretty good too, but for me it's the tocino, the chicken tocino. Like the chicken thighs, it's fatty, melt in your mouth, a little bit of sweetness with the egg, soy sauce, and garlic rice. That's what you want. Okay, I thought about being healthy, but then I saw these little treats and I said, well, how could I? I think this one's called like ensenada. It's like powdered sugar and like this grated cheese on top with a soft bun and a blueberry muffin with the crumble on top. I know this one's good. I really do. Oh, it's so light. Kind of reminds me of like, you know those like Hawaiian pineapple rolls? Not pineapple rolls, but those like Hawaiian rolls. It's like a Hawaiian roll with powdered sugar and like this cheese on top. Mmm. All right, the last thing I got, a little blueberry muffin. This blue, they have not had the blueberry muffin. This blueberry muffin looks like it's gonna be bomb though. I may have to grab. Ooh, I may have to grab. I'm gonna go get another blueberry muffin. <laughs> Somebody baked like plastic on the inside of this one. <laughs> that was really weird. <sighs> Actually, the more I think about it, I'm just gonna tear off the top. Only like the top of a muffin anyways. And the plastic wasn't near that. Ooh. No, just kidding. I'm gonna go get like two or three more of those. Wow. Sweet. Thank you, RD. Welcome, sir. All the best. Have a great Thanks, John. Okay, well, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video. But we got a lot more from the Philippines, so catch you at the next one.